Rise from your grave. Hello, Quakers! Welcome once again to another episode of The Quake Grave. You'll notice two dates below me here, and that's because we're taking a look at two versions of this map, Bloodstone. One that was released on December 7th of 1996, and another that was released on February 6th of 1997, just two months later. This is by Dracone. So let's jump in and see if we can squeeze some blood from this stone. Alright, so here we are in Bloodstone. This is the first version from 1996. Oh, we immediately have a Shambler waiting to get us down here. Way to throw us right into the thick of it, Dracone. At least he can't get to me. That's always a good thing, right? Okay, he's done. And... Do I want a chance jumping down there, or do I want to continue in through over there? Well, let's go get our shells. Oop, we got some grunts here. Nothing, nothing we can't take care of, right? And a dog. Who's trapped. A couple dogs that are trapped. Not even sure if we really have to kill those, but... Or if we even really had to come down here. What is this all about? Maybe that door opens later, I guess? I guess... So we'll find that out in a second here. Okay. Switch. Right? Oh, the door is now open. Ooh, it's pretty spooky in here. We got some knights, but it's so damn dark. And there was another one. And another one. Okay, that's four knights. What are we looking at for... Wow, there's actually uh, actually uh, quite a few enemies in this map. Looks like 33 for an uh, older map. I feel like old maps like more relied on fewer enemies, but I, I, I could be could be wrong in that. Maybe it's just like the, the custom maps that were like that. Okay, we want to go up or through the water? Oh, okay, we don't need health yet. But we do want this, and there are no secrets in this map. However, I guess you would consider that a secret. I really want to shoot that. Oh, it just opens the door. What a waste. What a waste. I would like to go back to my shotgun to not waste nails, but it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. Oh, great. Underwater fiends. Okay. That's interesting. You guys can't get to me because you're trapped. That old chestnut, huh? There's a dog up there trying to get out to me, but he's trapped as well. So you got all this water. You got a moving platform along the water. Really, really wondering what's up with the moving platform. What's the point? Is there something under here? No, nothing under here I missed. And because of the placement of those fiends, I mean, we, we really could have bypassed all of them, it looks like. I don't think we can get in through there. Alright. I guess we'll go over here and kill this dog who can't seemingly get through the door. Want another dog. More grunts. Oh! You caught me off guard, didn't you? There's so much health, I'm just going to grab one. Who cares, right? Oh, there's another Shambler down there waiting for me. We're going to switch back to a regular shotgun here. As to not waste ammo. Because it doesn't look like we're going to have a whole hell of a lot of it. Where you at, dog? There you are. Okay, you're done now. Let's see what's around this way, if anything. Nothing. Okay. So I guess we're going to... Oh, we got two Shamblers down there? Come on, I don't have enough... Uh... I don't have enough ammo for that. Nowhere near enough ammo for that. And that's it. Or do I... What do I got? I got rockets, but I don't have anything to use them with. So I'm assuming that center area... Or I guess I could just run around here and let them kill each other, right? Or hope, hope to line them up so they kill each other. Let's hope that's the case, right? I'm assuming that little center square is actually the exit. So let me go fill up on health and see if I can run in there. 
These blue doors, I'd really like to know what's what's going on with that. Okay, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Oh, oh okay. Alright. The center door did not open. How the hell am I supposed to defeat these guys? Did I miss out on like a ton of ton of loot somewhere? A ton of ammo? I don't need a I'm falling into crevices here on top of that. But uh yeah, we're uh where's all the ammo at? I was able to pick up those extra nails that were there. Okay, there's some rockets up there. How do we get to it? That's my question. There we go, jump up there. That does not open. Even if the rockets don't work good on the shamblers, it's something, right? I guess we'll just go back here. But I can't go in there because it's locked. And this is all locked up. Hmm. 23 out of 33. Twenty-three out of thirty-three enemies. Well, I don't know. I, I, I there must be something I'm super missing here. Like, what, what, what could be? Is there a button somewhere else that opens that up? Like, what, what am I looking for here? Because, it's, see, it's quite obvious there's a door in a room there, but how the hell does it open? How do I get in there? You guys still haven't killed that grunt yet? Come on. There you go. Now fight each other. Go ahead. Ooh. Big boy really wants a piece, doesn't he? Aha! Now we have found it. Let's go destroy. Down we go. Oh, and that was the end. Okay, 26 out of 33. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure why. So, yeah, that map would have been a lot shorter had I known where the hell the... Uh, room with the pent and everything was but now that I know it's there. Let's see if it's in the newer updated level um, Yeah, I mean it, it seems like an alright level like it, it's incompetent in it or it's it's not incompetent I'm sorry <laughs> sound like that's what I said no it, it's it's a competent level like you can get to the exit and everything like that I just don't understand the blue doors and why they don't open and what, What's the point of anything we're doing there? I guess I don't know but all right, let's uh, let's jump into the 1997 version and see what's different all right, here we are in Bloodstone 97. Complete with... Oh, it says 96, but this was released in 97, right? Complete with Shambler immediate, uh, immediately greeting us, just like in the 1996 version. Don't let the caption fool you. Whoa. Wow. Completely uh, ran out of ammo there, so we will just attempt to kill him with the last few we got. You've got to die, dude. Thank you. Yikes. Okay, we jump down here again. Let's conserve as much ammo as we can. Because who knows if that room is even waiting for us at the end. Yeah, we still can't do anything here. Interesting. Okay. Everything is pretty much the same so far, except, if I remember correctly, you didn't start in a little closet like you do here. So, let's, let's continue on. And we got knights still. Yes, we do. This is all the same. Oh, you got me that time, didn't you? Okay, we got some armor now, though. We hit the button. Yep, same, so far, same old, same old. 
There's an ogre. Oh, do I? Okay, I gotta step on the button. Whoa! And he's down. Same shooty button above the door there. Ah, and there's actually a fiend up on the platform this time. Whoa! Really trying to get at me that time. Whoa, there is a shit ton of fish in here. And I can't get out. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just going to avoid all of you. Alright, so I can see a lot of the changes already. Fish and a fiend. I think I'm completely out of ammo here, so I'm going to have to kill this dog with uh, whatever I got here. And you too. And you too. And you guys. I'm gonna grab this health. I'm gonna run over to the crazy room. See if that is still around. And it is, but it's oh, go to the surface. What does that mean? Go to the surface. Was this here before? Or is it just because I killed everything before? You're done. Go to the surface. What in the hell does that even mean? Okay. It's going to keep giving me that error, so I guess we'll... How about this? I can... Oh, nothing. Okay. Let's keep on moving. See if we can find out what the hell it's talking about. And that has nothing to do with it. Okay, there's one fish on this side. Die, fish! I killed most of you already. You can't get to me because it's some body thing. Okay. Alright. So, I assume the surface is like whatever's up there. But how the hell are we supposed to get up there? Killed all the fish, killed the fiend. Is this fixed? Alright, you can still fall into that. Yeah, is this still gonna be locked over here? Let's see, you still got yep, still two shamblers and a grunt in the locked in the pen. And yes, there's still an error there. Okay. Go to the surface. And the enemies were doubled in this. Looks like I got 37 kills out of the 62 enemies that there are. I got a ring of shadows, which I did not know about or see before. But how does that how does that help me? Because you can tell from the top up here, it drops from the ceiling. But again, the the question: How the hell? Do you drop from the ceiling? Nothing to open here. Okay. Let's shoot that and head in. To where? I don't know. Oh. I guess that light toggle or that button toggles the light. Yes, it does. We can just walk right back through here. Alright, we killed a bunch of enemies. Let's see if that even matters back here. See if this door will open. Okay, those doors open. Service tunnel open. Oh. Shaft to the surface is open. Whatever that might be. I guess this is where we gotta go because it's taking us up. We definitely gotta drop. Nope, this is not the right area. And something tells me I'm gonna end up wasting this quad. Oh, but it's all it's all like semi-connected, it looks like. Interesting. I 
And what was over here? Anything? Got health. We still got a lot of enemies, so there's got to be. Ooh, here we go. Oh, not exactly what I was expecting. Okay, we have got to switch. There we go. That guy really wanted a piece, that's for sure. Is there any way to get on the outskirts of that? What does this switch do? The prizes are yours. Okay. So that must mean that the one area is open. Let's take a teleporter. We are on top now. And what does this do? Nothing? Okay, let's go back on top. I don't think there's anything super important on the ledge here. I'm not going to chance it, because it looks pretty spooky. Whoa. There we go. So you go up there, grab that. These these are things that really should have had a secret associated with them, I feel. But hey, we're still alive. We're still kicking it in this very strange... Very strange level. But it, as weird as this level is, as strange it is, as it is to navigate, isn't this what a uh, custom quaking is all about? Let's grab that, let's switch. Let's go tear some shit up. Now you're talking 2x4. There you go, there's the end. 47 kills out of 62, I will attribute that to the fish problem. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the 1997 version of Bloodstone. Um, I, I would definitely say that it's uh, it's an improved uh, version of the level. I, I like that it closes that main room off from you getting to it to finish the level. However, uh, it's, a, it's a bit strange that that room is completely hidden. Like, uh, maybe it should be like a cage in the middle of the room that opens up once you get to the surface or whatever. But, you know, the, the difference between the 1996 version and the 1997 version, are, are they're pretty apparent. One is, is that they're, the stuff is blocked to get to the end. You know, you can't get to the quad or the pent or whatever uh, in the 97 version without first going all the way back and unlocking the buttons where the dogs were caged up to get to the shaft. I don't, it sounds convoluted and it doesn't really give you any kind of clue that that's what is happening. There's no, no text, no flavor text that's like, hey, the... Now the dogs are let loose in the, in the prison, you know, something like that, to let you know, like, oh, that's where I gotta go, it's back to the prison. Um, so yeah, I guess the 96 version is, like, way easier to, like, just kind of jump in and finish. There's no reason to go back, so you can totally see why Dracon, like, went back and remedied that with a new version. However, when you go back and you fix your map, there's a lot of things you need to go back and really pay attention to. I mean, if you're releasing a new version, you know, why not fix, like, these texture issues? Like, I mean, you can see texture issues right here in the screenshot with these bars and everything. They just look kind of strange. Um, you know, uh, texture usage for uh, some of the other brushes that are in the level for doors and that kind of thing. You can, you can see in this uh, shot right here on the right that this red wall isn't flush with the corner, you know. Fixing things like that, you know, to, to make it look a little bit more pro, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess if I had to pick a version for you to play, I would pick the 97 version. It's going to be a little bit more of a challenge for you. It's a little bit strange to navigate uh, because of the uh, the no flavor text to tell you where to go. Uh, but overall, I would say it is the, the better version of the map. Um, as far as the maps go, I don't know if we really need to play through these, but... They are interesting nonetheless. Like I said before, playing custom Quake maps, I mean, this is what it's all about, is to see what's inside somebody's head, just to get an idea of what they're thinking at the time, what they're going for. And these, these were definitely uh, an interesting pair of levels. Until next time, Quakers.